I have been wanting to do a video about this topic for at least two years now, but I was undecided about it because I am a pastor's wife. And you seldom hear pastor's wives teaching women about sex. So I was not sure if I should talk about that topic or not, but what motivated me to want to share with other women the importance of having a good sex life with your husband is that my husband and I, we have been married for 30 years and we enjoy coming together, being intimate with each other. And I also believe that the main two things that you want to keep alive in your marriage, one is communication, because it's hard to build a relationship without communication and also having a good sex life. Another thing that motivated me to want to create a series of videos about this topic is that as a Christian woman, I noticed that a lot of other Christian wives that I have been around don't think that it's important to have a good connection with your husband sexually. They feel like one of the main things and the only thing that is important as a Christian woman is to have a good relationship with God. But God created marriage and he also created sex. And it's nothing wrong with enjoying it with your spouse. And some of the things that I'm going to talk about in this series, I wish I would have known before I got married, but I am glad that I learned throughout the years how to keep a sparkle in my marriage. So I want to share what I have learned with you. So if you are married or if you are single and you want to prepare yourself to be a wife, I'm creating a series of videos about this topic because I want you to have a good, long lasting marriage. In each video, I'm going to share some simple tips that's going to help you as a wife. So if you want to learn how to have intimacy in your relationship throughout your marriage, you're at the right place. My husband is a pastor and on Sunday mornings, before we get ready to go to church, I try not to have a lot of conversation with him because I'm trying to prepare my mind for the service. I lead praise and worship at my church. And so I want to make sure that I feel connected with God before I, I enter into his house. When I know that I want to be intimate with my husband, I start preparing myself in the morning. And the reason why it's so important because it puts me in the mood to be intimate with him. So to prepare my mind, I think about what it's going to be like. And I also think out throughout the day how I enjoy being with how the way that he makes me feel as a woman. Read a good romance book. One of my favorite novelists is Eric Jerome Dickey. And I purposely read his books because they help me to get in the mood. And it's nothing wrong with getting in the mood for your husband. I was raised in church. My whole life was about church and I didn't learn anything else. So one thing I love about books is that they take you out of your environment and you can learn about whatever you want to learn about. And another thing I love about books too is that whatever the author is writing about, you feel like that you are a part of the scene. So it pulls you in and it helps your imagination. So if you are married, I think that a good romance novel will be great to help you get in the mood to want to be intimate with your husband. In the Bible, I believe it's Paul that talked about how that when you are single, your goal is to please God and how that when you are married, you are going to seek to please your husband. And so it's nothing wrong with you as a wife wanting to please your husband. Listen to music. Different kind of music make you feel a certain way and love songs help you want to be intimate with your husband. I even created a playlist. The playlist have just only songs on it that I feel that is going to bring the mood of wanting to come together. Music is very powerful and it does help create the atmosphere. Text him, text your husband throughout the day, just like you would when you were dating him. I don't know why, but most couples, when they become married, they just 
forget about how the way that they were act when they were dating. Some of those things you should never lose because it helps your relationship to feel fresh and exciting. I hope I shared something in this video that's going to help you build intimacy in your relationship. I want to know which tip you like the best. If you like my message and you want to support me, subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification bell. I have a Facebook group and the Facebook group is about self-improvement and I talk about a lot of different things. Some of the things that I would have loved to put in this video, I couldn't because this is something that the public can see. So if you want to talk to me more about this particular topic, join my Facebook it's called Chats with Flow. I would love to have you and it's only for women. Thank you for tuning in and make sure to stay tuned for the next upload about how to keep your husband sexually interested in you. Bye.